and been brilliant. He's just really connected the football club back with the fans, and um, he's just an all-round nice bloke, really. Because for what he has helped do for us has been awesome, absolutely awesome. We've got someone so caring of the club and understands how much it means to us as fans is fantastic. Um, there's no better person that I would want in and around my football club. There's a reason why we've had success since he's come into the football club. It's not a coincidence. I'm worried about this one because I think he's going to kill me. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we couldn't ignore this every year. Um, at the awards, there is an overwhelming amount of support um, and a lot of voices asking for this. And I think it felt about time and rightly to recognise Clive and his fantastic contribution to this football club. It first of all starts just with who he is as a person. He's just a fantastic human being, cares about people, um, cares about the club. And I think he evidences that in every decision, in every challenge, in every conversation we have within a board meeting. Um, you know, he, he is a true football fan. Um, but he fully understands that he is a custodian, not only of Lincoln City, but of the game as well. He is committed each and every day to the well-being and the advancement of this club. And I've never seen anyone work so hard. He is invested in every way possible for the benefit of Lincoln City. And he's done it from 8,000 miles away. Without Clive, I don't know where we'd be as a club. We're about, well, next season we'll enter our sixth successive season of League One football. Well, I've been following the Imps for 51 years and I'm not I'd be able to enjoy football at that level for such a sustained period of time as I have now. Um, you know, so much has gone on here under his tenure and under his stewardship, and I think it's quite apt that uh, we recognise that at some point. It's not possible to have a better chairman in the 92 than what we have in Clive at Lincoln City.